on the previous video we talked about one-to-one -one functions and how it will be verified apart from other types of functions we also concluded that only one-to-one -one functions has their inverse so for this lesson we will further explore what are inverse functions again i want you to grab a piece of a paper and a pen to jot down all important concepts when it comes to inverse functions but before that take a look again to the objectives of this week and the content of this video Ang mga inverse functions ay functions na kung saan nire-reflect nila yung isa't isa. Makikita ito sa kanilang mga graph literally. Sa alimbawa, ganito. So, ito ay two graphs of inverse functions. Makikita dito na para silang nasa isang salamin. Yung isa nasa loob, yung isa nasa labas. Makikita rin na ang graph na ito ay nire-reflect nila yung each other. So, nagaganap yung reflection nila dito sa isang line na tinatawag nating y equals x or reflection line. Ito yon. Sa math, magiging inverse lang ang dalawang function kapag ang kanilang mga composition ay equal sa x. Ibig sabihin na ito, kapag sinubstitute mo yung bawat isang function doon sa isa, ang result is only x. So, para mas maintindihan yan, gagawa tayo ng isang example. So, verify if the two functions are inverse of each. f of x is equal to 3x minus 1 and g of x is equal to x plus 1 over 3. So, pag nag-start ka ng solution, laging ang umpisa mo ay f of g of x muna. Ang goal mo dyan is, you need to find out if the result will only be x. So, f of g of x. Dito, if sa substitute mo yung buong g of x doon sa f of x. So, from 3x minus 1, magiging 3 times x plus 1 over 3 minus 1, kung saan yung x natin napalitan ng buong g of x. After that, you will simplify... So, to simplify, kailangan i-cancel yung 3. And then, ang may i1, x plus 1 minus 1. So, 1 minus 1 is 0. Kaya, ang ating sagot ay x lang. And then, you will check this to the condition if nakita niya or na-meet niya or na-achieve ba niya yung una sa mga condition which is this. So, dahil x ang sagot natin, ibig sabihin, na-meet niya yung condition. Therefore, condition 1 is checked. So, pag na-check mo na yung first condition, move on ka na kagad doon sa susunod na susolvin, which is g of f of x. Again, ang hahanapin mo rito is if the result will be only x. So, g of f of x Sa substitute mo naman dito yung buong f of x doon sa x ng g of x. So, ganito yan. So, from x plus 1 over 3, magiging 3x minus 1 plus 1 over 3 kung saan yung ating x sa g ay naging buong f of x. etong yellow one na yan. So, you can simplify this. You can remove first the grouping symbols kasi nga plus lang naman yun nandoon sa operation ng 1. So, dahil na-remove ng grouping symbols, yung minus 1 and plus 1, that is equal to 0. So, we have 3x over 3 na lang. And then, you'll need to 
cancel 3 and then the remaining expression will become x only. So again, you will check if it meets the condition. So itong condition na to ay para dito sa kanan which is yung g of f of x. Since we have both answers as x, therefore, our condition 2 is checked. Since the two conditions were both obtained, ibig sabihin nun yung ating given functions na g and f are inverse of each. So, munting guide lang para sa pagde-decide, kapag both conditions ang nakuha or na-achieve ng ating mga given, therefore, those two functions are inverse of each. But if at least one or both of the conditions were not obtained, ibig sabihin, hindi mo talaga na-achieve yung x na result, then the two functions are not inverse of each. So, ngayon alam nyo na kung paano ma-verify kung inverse pa ang dalawang function ng isa't isa. Paano naman kung ipapahanap sa inyo kung ano yung inverse ng isang function. So, ganito yan. So, how do we get the inverse of a function? Let's say, find the inverse of the function f of x is equal to x minus 3. So, ang gagawin mo dito is, you will change f of x to y. So, from f of x, magiging ganito siya. y equals x minus 3. After that, you will change all y to x and all x to y. Ibig sabihin, lahat ng y gagawin mong x, lahat ng x gagawin mong y. So, that is interchanging. So, you will interchange y to x and x to y. So, magiging ganito ang sura ng ating given. x equals y minus 3. So, after that, you will solve for y. So, x equals y minus 3 na transpose mo yung 3, magiging x plus 3 equals y. Kasi, pag sinabi nating solve for y, ibig sabihin nun, we just have to make this variable alone on one side of equation. So, dahil solve for y, dapat yung y alone siya on one side of equation. Para maging alone siya, yung ating minus 3 ay ililipat sa kabilang side of equation. So, magiging x plus 3 equals y. After that, or after mong i-isolate yung ating y, papalitan mo na siya ng f negative 1 of x. Ibig sabihin ng f negative 1 of x ay inverse. So, pwede mo yung balik ta rin, kagaya na ito. And then, ayun na yung inverse ng ating function. Next example, find the inverse of the function f of x is equal to 2x minus 1. Same steps, change to y, and then interchange y and x, and then solve for y, so transpose negative 1, magiging x plus 1. After that, divide by 2, kasi hindi pa pwedeng may kasama yung y, so cancel yung 2 may iwan na lang is x plus 1 over 2 equals y. And then, change to f negative 1 of x or pwede rin balik ta rin kagaya neto and this will be the inverse of our function. Find the inverse of the function f of x is equal to x squared minus 5. Change to y interchange x and y solve for y so transpose yung negative 5 para ma-isolate so since meron pa rin tayong squared we need to find the square root cancel square root and then that will be y equals square root of x plus 5 change the y to f negative 1 or pwede rin balik na rin kagaya neto and this will be the answer for the inverse.
Another example, find the inverse of the function f of x is equal to 2x plus 1 over 3x plus 5. So, ito medyo mahirap-hirap siya gawin. So, again, ganun pa rin yung steps. Change to y. Interchange y and x. Kung mapapansin nyo, lahat ng x naging y and lahat ng y naging x. After that, cross multiply. Ibig sabihin ni multiply yung buong 3y plus 5 doon sa x. Ganito magiging result. Ganito magiging result. Nakamultiply si 3y plus 5 kay x and then naiwan si 2y plus 1 doon sa kabilang side ng equation. Then you will distribute x times 3y is 3xy x times 5 is 5x and then just copy 2y plus 1. So, since ang goal is isolate si y, ibig sabihin, kailangan siya lang may iwan na variable, kailangan natin pag-group-groupuhin lahat ng mga terms na merong y. So, ano yun? Si 3xy at saka si 2y. Ngayon, pag in-group mo siya, ganito maging mangyayari dyan. Si 3xy, kopyahin, ilipat natin si 2y sa kabila. So, magiging negative 2y then lahat ng hindi mo kailangan doon sa side ni 3xy itapon doon sa kabila or itipat doon sa kabila so magiging negative 5x and then yung remaining na plus 1 so from 5x naging negative 5x kasi nag transpose after that you will factor out common factors and y so since dito sa ating a left side of the equation y lang is the same so you can factor it out magiging ganito ang itsura niya kumbaga kinuha ko yung y nilabas ko at yung naiwan ay 3x at saka yung minus 2 so yung negative 5x plus 1 wala ka namang ginagawa sa kanya kaya kinopy mo lang and then since we need to isolate y we need to divide both sides by 3x minus 2 pag dinivide mo yan, gato mangyayari, yung over mo lang yan. And then, you will cancel 3x minus 2. So, mang iiwan na lang is negative 5x plus 1 over 3x minus 2. And then, since y na lang yung naiwan, gagawin na siyang f negative 1 of x. And this will be the inverse of our function na binigay ayan sa taas. So, meron tayong mga shortcut to find the inverse. Ang inverse kasi ay reverse lang ng kahit anong nangyayari sa isang function. So, you just need to reverse the operations made on the original function. So, papaano yan? Ganito. So, you need to consider also the opposite of taking the gem dash or group, exponent, multiplication, division, addition, subtraction, pabalik. You will start with addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, and grouping symbols and exponents. So, from gem das, magiging addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, and grouping exponents. So, babalik tayo sa lahat. So, let's use our example sa while ago para malaman natin kung parehas ba yung sagot natin kanina. So, ito yung una, find the inverse of the function. f of x is equal to x minus 3. So, ang gagawin mo lang dyan is you will just reverse the subtraction to addition and change f of x to f negative 1. So, from minus, naging plus 3. From f of x, naging f negative 1 of x. And this will be the inverse of the function. Okay, next, find the inverse of the function, f of x is equal to 2x minus 1. Again, reverse the subtraction to addition and change f of x to f negative 1. So, naging plus 1. Ngayon, yung 2 na green, yung 2 na green na yan, gagawin mong division by 2. Kasi nga, ang reverse ng multiplication is division. So, divided by 2. So, we have x plus 1 over 2 and that will be the inverse of our function. Find the inverse of the function f of x is equal to x squared minus 5. Again, you will just reverse the subtraction to addition and change f of x to 
f negative 1. So, and then you will reverse the exponent to radical. So magiging imbis na minus 5, magiging plus 5. Imbis na squared, magiging square root. And this will be the inverse of our function. Find the inverse of the function. Ito yung ating rational function. Dito, ang gagawin mo rito, you just need to switch the places of these numbers. Yung 2 and 5. Then, you will also change the signs. So, from 2x plus 1 over 3x plus 5, switch. Yung 5 umakyat, yung 2 bumaba. And then, change the signs. From positive 5, negative 5. From positive 2, negative 2. And this will be the inverse of our function.